Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. I need to get Christmas finished and going and wrapped. And I have a bunch of stuff in my car that I have to do while the kids are at school. So let's just get this started. You can see the sparkle in my eye. We feel love all around. It feels so right. And I will take this opportunity to share you. Aurora pet it. You cannot wear that to school. No. Those are my boots. No. And it's too cold for shorts. You're gonna fall over. <laughs> nice try. Go try again. I love the shirt though. <laughs> you do look so cute. Those shoes are too big for you though. No. Yeah. Nice try. What are you doing? Watching our video. Watching crazy pieces? <laughs> Yay. Oh. Yay. Ow. Ow. You know what time it's for? <laughs> time to vlog? <laughs> no, it's time to get ready for Christmas. <laughs> when you have this many kids, wrapping is a project. <laughs> Dare I say an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it really is an adventure, but we have like some of our tips and tricks of what we use to keep it organized with this many kids. This is the first year too, so I was gonna say with 16 kids. So technically we have 16 kids, yes. But then you have Scarlett, our granddaughter, so does that make, we're buying for 17? And then you have Isaac, and then um, also, James lives with us. So it's like the first year that I'm like, like, do you just, I guess we just shop for everybody. <laughs> do we just do it all? Do it all. So 16, what? 17, 18, 19? So this year it's shopping for 19 and how we organize that. And then each other too. I don't want Grandparents. And grandparents. And then nieces and it's nephews. It's a process. So plans have changed today and we're not gonna be Christmas shopping. Hallie just called me and she's having a really rough day. So I'm gonna wait for her to get here and I'm gonna drop my whole day just to spend it with her. Um, but before we do that, I wanna say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Audible. So it's funny, cause we did Christmas list the other day and we were talking about what the kids like to read and all of that. And some of them are like, I don't like to read. And a lot of you suggested Audible to me. And I've actually been an Audible member for a while now, but but I didn't even think about giving that to my kids for Christmas. So I actually love that idea. And Jamie and Aurora, we're gonna sit together as a little family and we're gonna listen to some books. Like there's one called The Cinnamon Bear um, that's so cute. And so we're gonna listen to that one right now. But I love that you can gather your family together, listen to holiday books that are on there, and listen to imaginative, heartfelt stories. So I love this. They also have the Harry Potter series and several of the books that the kids requested are actually on there. And I love for the kids that don't like to read that they can listen to them as they get ready for school or in the car ride on the way to activities. So perfect thing for them to do. So let's listen to some in there. I love that you can listen to imaginative, heartwarming, and festive stories, original podcasts, and more brought to life by incredible performers. Enjoy brand new Audible originals like The Cinnamon Bear and exclusives like The Christmas Pig by J.K. Rowling. Fire up modern classics like Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and so many more all-time favorites. Now's the time to listen together. That book was so cute. I loved it. So make sure you go to audible.com slash family listening and listen now from Audible only. Molly showed up and she's just having a bad day. So she left school early. So we are gonna go out to lunch, which I'm super excited about. And we're just gonna spend some time together. I'm doing laundry. Aww. She came home from school early to do her laundry. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> This laundry room. Oh my goodness. 
It's looking a little crazy. Okay, Ariana was laundry room this week, but she's been working a lot. And yeah. so it's kind of out of control. It's gotten a little out of control. I'll give you a <laughs> tiny sneak peek, but I'm not showing you the whole thing because it's really bad. <laughs> See these laundry baskets? Oh no. Oh, don't look down the laundry chute. Close that. <laughs> what do you want to eat? Uh, we haven't been to a Reba's in a while. Oh, a Reapers. That's an idea. We do like us some of that. <laughs> <laughs> but, or somewhere closer. I was like, a Reapers kind of far. It looks sick. Serrano's? Look like at Hallie, always looking out for me. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, you got it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Do you want to do serranos? So do you feel like Mexican food? Yeah. Okay. Let's do, let's do Mexican. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> While we're going out to the car, I'm gonna show you. Is that still all in the car? Yeah. Oh. Okay, Holly, I got her discount the other day. I was super I excited. Did. So she saved a bunch of money, but uh, the car is. But I haven't been able to drive my Tahoe because all weekend the kids were home, so I didn't want to have them see it. But today when they're at school, I'm gonna unload it. You wanna see how crazy it is? I bought Target. I bought a lot. Can't show too much, wait, just in case. Uh, because some of the kids watch the videos and I don't want them to see their Christmas present. But I can show you this person's. Look what I found her. It's a big like, it's almost like a, a Barbie's dream house kind of thing, but the LOL, LOL dolls, dolls that she loves. There's a lot in here. It goes all the way to the front seat. Where are we gonna put all this? So, I don't know. <laughs> Fun fact, on the radio I was listening today and there was a poll that was shown that the worst place to hide Christmas presents is in your closet. Because that's the that's first- That's true. That's the first kit, that's the first place that kids always look when they're trying to um, get a sneak peek at presents. So you have to Ooh. find a better hiding spot. Okay, so that's our first tip. So in our old house, we had like a, a sauna. sauna. <laughs> and we, you knew where we had I I'm just did. kidding. I looked in there. <laughs> oh, did you see one of your presents early? No, I just saw a bunch of, most of it, all of it was right. Okay, so that's one, so. that's one reason or one, wait, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I may have unwrapped. Oh, you. did you ever? I just like, I just like ripped a little corner. The secrets to are like, coming out today. Yeah? <laughs> I just, if I found one that was mine, I would like rip a little corner and like peek inside of it and like see if I could see what the box was, but. Oh, ah, cheater. <laughs> okay, that's my first tip though in what we do to keep it kind of organized and whatnot. I use an app and I'll show you the app actually when we get back from lunch real quick because we're super hungry. But I use an app, I take a picture of the present and then I wrap it right away. Like pretty much when I get it home from the store within a day or so, it is wrapped and put away. I was in our sauna. Um, <laughs> we also had a warehouse in St. John's that we put a few presents in. But here, I think what we're gonna do is actually- You're gonna use the secret back room? Yeah. That's so, so smart. In our garage, we have a little room. I forgot about this. This is a good place for it actually. Yeah, I had all my Christmas decorations in it, but now all those are pulled out. And it's still a mess, but I feel like we could store all the presents in here. All right, so That's I say we place. take this handle off and we replace it with one that has like the push button, like we have for the medicine. Oh. So no one can snoop. So, <gasps> no one can and it's so like you secure. can't sneak in there. Oh, I mean, don't do that. <laughs> I feel like that's perfect. I okay, we need to buy that today because okay. I got to put all these presents in here. And we got to clean this up. We got to clean it up a little bit. I have okay, some of the fall decorations in here, but. Got some work to do, but. Okay, let's go eat. Let's go. <laughs> While Holly and I go out to lunch, Erin is taking some of the kids to the orthodontist and they're so close to getting their braces off. So ask them how much longer they have because I'm super excited for okay. that. I think Savannah only has like two or three months left, but we'll see. So we were gonna do Serrano's, but I remembered they're closed on Mondays. That happened to me a few weeks ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so instead we're gonna do Macayo's, which is very similar, just some Mexican food. It'll be really good. Let's do it. Yeah. 
So I got a chicken chimney. Look how good this looks. And Hallie got... I got enchiladas and two beef tacos. And some yeah. rice. That looks delicious. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the kids have a orthodontist appointment. Now, Lucas woke up sick this morning. He didn't end up going to school. He's not feeling well, so he is not going to the orthodontist appointment. But I have to go pick up Savannah and Max from school and get them over to the orthodontist. Let's go. We have Savannah, now we gotta go get Max. Let's get going. Yeah! Funny thing was, Addison was going to a dentist appointment. So we saw the crazy bills, it's cool, woo! Yeah. All right, we got Max, but now we're running late, so let's get going. She was just telling me she was looking into community college and that there's like scholarships for- the Scholarships for being, being short. <laughs> so. Sign her up. up. Sign you up. <laughs> Anyways, we are running over to Trader Joe's real quick to get some gluten free food and just kind of restock her stash of stuff. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't have a seed that I'm allergic to. <laughs> Seriously, I am allergic to some seeds. <laughs> Everything bagel. They got mini cupcakes down there that are gluten free. How do you make, I'm just saying, how do you make gluten free whole grain bread? <laughs> I have no idea. How exactly does that work? Here's everything but the bagel. <laughs> and then you got. And then you got the everything bagel. The everything bagel and the everything but the bagel. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Okay, so just in case you didn't know, on the candied walnuts, it says, warning, contains walnut. <laughs> just in case you. you didn't know. <laughs> Thank you for that warning, in case I did not know. <laughs> it's Trader Joe's fall time with Hallie Pettit. Hey. <laughs> All right, show us what you got. What are your faves from Trader Joe's? Okay, so, oh, this is you guys. Oh yeah, I got a cinnamon swirl bread. It looked really good. This is also yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a funny quick story. Um, so this is gluten-free noodles, but we're having like a part, like a church Christmas party next week and they're like, oh, your kid's gluten-free. Can you bring some gluten-free stuff for those in our church? So I am making gluten-free spaghetti noodles. Okay, go ahead. Stuff. Still yours. So I got these little apricot, apricot, however you want to say it. Doesn't really matter. But they're these little containers and you just like rip them off and I can take them to work. That's cool. Snacks. I love so, that. I'm excited for those. And got some cinnamon applesauce. I like regular applesauce too, but I prefer cinnamon applesauce. And that was all my stuff in this bag. So I absolutely love sun dried strawberries. Like, they're crunchy like chips, but they're healthy like strawberries. <laughs> you know? Yeah. They taste so good. I also got some pears, which pears are so good, and peaches. So I got some cans of, some jars of those. <laughs> Strawberry jam, jelly, and I decided I want to try almond butter. I've never had this before, so. Okay, you should try it like right now. Like right Just now. lick it. See if it's good. She also got everything bagels. She got bread. Gluten free. Some candied pecans, cans, whatever. Oh. Waffles. Pancakes. Pancakes. And some walnuts. It smells like. What is it smelling? Like Ritz crackers. Okay, lick the knife and see if it's good. Oh yeah, lick the knife. <laughs> it's a butter knife. It's not an actual <laughs> knife. Okay, that didn't sound right though. Is it good? It just tastes like unflavored peanut butter. It does? Wait, now I have to try it. Because I'm curious. It's not very good. Maybe if you put the jelly on top of it, 
and a piece of bread. Mm. Not the best. It's okay. And this concludes Trader Joe haul with Hallie. Woo! <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> One last question. Has your day gotten better since this morning? It has. Oh. Yeah. I had such a good day spending, or I had such a good time spending the day with you. I like spending the day with you too. I know. That was fun. I can't wait till you graduate in two weeks and we can see each we other. We can do it all the time. Yay! Yes! Erin just got back with the kids to see the orthodontist and look how cute Savannah's are. Ding, 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 ding. They're Christmas! Red and green! I love that. To get in the Christmas spirit. Christmas spirit. So, how long did they say that you have left? Five months. Five months. Right okay. before summer. Yay! That's Which means good. She won't have braces um, in high school. She won't have braces before her freshman year of high school. That's oh, a, that's, that's a, perfect. I, I got mine right off. Off right. Off right before <laughs> <laughs> freshman year. That's perfect timing. I love that. No, not that high. Where'd Crystal go? Where'd Crystal go? Where'd Crystal go? There she is! <laughs> I'm not five. Okay. Ow. Ow. Love me a bit. Karma came for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, I wanted to show you guys the app that I use really quick. Um, it's not a brand deal or anything like that. So it's called Giftless. At least this is on Android. I think there's a different one for Apple. But the cool thing about it is password protected so no kids can get into it. Okay, but the cool thing is, so it shows you, I don't know if you can see in the screen, like you can put all your different people that you're buying for in. You could put how many gifts. Well, I haven't really loaded it all yet. I'm still working on my gifts. That takes but time. Let me show you, I'm gonna show you Aurora, it's real quick. So you can know, so you have like even gifts, but mine are always even, I do it based on price, which you can put the price in there, I just haven't put them all in yet. But then you, once you buy it, so then you have your little thing in there. Then once you buy it, you can do that. And then you can also go into it and take a picture, add a picture. And then once I wrap it, then I have wrapped, and then I know, oops, then it stays like all organized and put together. And then I can just do a quick glance and make sure that everyone's is somewhat even as far as price goes, how many gifts, and I can see all that. So that's how we keep our gifts organized. When, Very organized, when buying Crystal. It. Very organized. Yeah. Aaron doesn't really help with that kind of stuff. I do too. He does help me shop though, so that's the fun part. I and you a, help me wrap. I get so. everything else done so that she can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I give credit where credit is due. It was no, it was actually a really, really good day today. It didn't turn out how I expected. I was hoping to get some presents wrapped and for us to do some shopping and just kind of put everything together, but it was really cool to be able to spend time with Allie. So she showed up from school crying and really upset and just having a really bad day. So to see her smiling and laughing and having fun, it's totally a successful it. day. Successful yeah. day. And orthodontist got done and all that, things to you. So this was a good teamwork. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah. Day. As I was editing this video, I had a really strong impression to record this really quick and add this in before we end out the vlog. So I know during the holidays, every a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, happiest time of the year, best time of the year, it's the holidays. And it can feel like that for a lot of people. But on the other end, it doesn't always seem that way to others. And those who have anxiety and depression and have lost a loved one or several other reasons, this can be a very hard time of the year. And there's so many out there that feel this way. I know we have it in our own family where it's been situations where you're, you're sitting in a room and everyone's happy and laughing and joy and you can feel like, why don't I feel happiness? Why don't I feel joy? So if you are feeling this way or you are having a hard time during the holiday season, please reach out to somebody. Talk to somebody. It can be a family friend. It can be a mom, a dad, an uncle, brother, sister, whoever you have in your life. Reach out to somebody. And I want you guys to know that we're here for you, that we love you, and that you are not alone if you are feeling this way. There are thousands, millions of people that feel this way during the holiday season. Now back on to the ending that we recorded. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next Thank time. You guys. Bye. Love you, bye. <laughs> that was a wild bye.
There's a wind and it's blowing. There's a current that's running deep.